Rule 43. If it exists, there's an iceberg of it. Wii Sports Resort is a 2009 video game which has seemingly cemented itself as one of Nintendo's most acclaimed releases. The game features a plethora of new mechanics in continuation of its predecessor, Wii Sports, allowing for greater replay value and more distinct activities. Whilst unsurprisingly not reaching the same level of popularity as Wii Sports, the still notably large scope of Wii Sports Resort, along with the amount of content, means there is a surprising amount of interesting trivia, easter eggs, and media regarding the game, with wildly varying levels of obscurity. Unlike my last iceberg video, I've made this chart myself, due to my surprisingly large knowledge and passion of the game, as well as the unsurprising non-existence of a Wii Sports Resort iceberg prior. It is my first time making one of these, so apologies if the placement of certain tidbits seem unusual to you. I will now explain each point on the iceberg descending downward, beginning with information even casual players will likely know, to extremely obscure and or bizarre pieces of Wii Sports Resort material. Timestamps for each level are provided in the description. Level 1. Popularity. As aforementioned, Wii Sports Resort did not manage to eclipse its predecessor's popularity. Wii Sports sold 82.9 million copies, making it not only the best-selling Wii game of all time, but also the fourth best-selling video game of all time. Wii Sports Resort was still wildly popular, however, selling over 33 million copies worldwide, including 150,000 copies which were sold upon its first day of release in Japan. Woohoo Island. Woohoo Island is the name of the island on which the various sports and activities take place. It features a variety of distinct landmarks which can be viewed in the island flyover game, which is essentially a free roam in a plane across the island. Woohoo Island is based on the island setting of the jogging minigame in Wii Fit, aptly titled Wii Fit Island at the time. Woohoo Island will be discussed in more detail later. New Sports Bowling and golf are carried over from Wii Sports into Wii Sports Resort, along with 10 new sports, swordplay, wakeboarding, frisbee, archery, basketball, table tennis, power cruising, canoeing, cycling, and air sports. Each of these sports contains one to three subsequent modes. New Miis. The game also introduces 40 new CPU Miis, along with the original 60 from Wii Sports. Miis are customizable humanoid characters which appear on many Nintendo games, debuting with the Wii. In Wii Sports Resort, pre-made CPU, i.e. computer-controlled, Miis appear as competitors in single-player games. While the Miis introduced in Wii Sports are infinitely more well-known, such as Matt, Abby, and Lucia, a handful of Wii Sports Resort's Miis have gained similar recognizability, such as Tommy. Wii Motion Plus The Wii Motion Plus is an expansion device which plugs into the bottom of the Wii Remote. It allows for more complex movement than had previously been available, and its use debuted with the release of Wii Sports Resort. Later, a variant of the Wii Mote known as the Wii Mote Plus was introduced, with the Motion Plus technology being pre-built inside. Instructional videos. Upon the game's first boot up, a series of instructional videos will automatically play, demonstrating how to use the new Wii Motion Plus. As such, almost everyone who has played the game has seen at least one of the videos, and they have also gained a significant amount of infamy due to their long-winded manner of explaining a relatively straightforward process. They can also not be skipped in-game. Poofesher Poofesher is a gaming YouTuber who is well known for playing Nintendo games, particularly titles from the main Wii series, such as Wii Sports Resort. With a notable chunk of his Wii Sports Resort videos gaining millions of views, such as his struggles with the basketball and table tennis games, it is safe to say they are some of the most well-known Wii Sports Resort-based YouTube content in existence. Main theme. This theme is similar melodically to that of Wii Sports, but with added instruments and an overall more tropical feel to match the game's setting. It plays every time Wii Sports Resort is booted up, and is thereby associated with nostalgia for a lot of people who played the game when they were younger. While again not quite as popular as its older siblings opening theme, it has still enjoyed re-uploads and remixes, which have amassed hundreds of thousands of views, and users commenting on the nostalgia and quality. Level 2 Jschlat 
Jay Schlatt is also a gaming and commentary YouTuber, who is noted for having played Wii games on his channel in the past. He has produced two videos in which he plays Wii Sports Resort, both of which have surpassed 1 million views. Whilst not quite as staggering as Pufesh's view counts, Jay Schlatt seems to be more colloquially known. Wedge Island Wedge Island is another island which appears in Wii Sports Resort, used as the setting for the golf game. Anyone who has played the golf game has seen this island, even if they don't know its specific name, warranting its position. We are resorting to violence. We are resorting to violence is a semi-popular meme which features an edited version of the Wii Sports Resort cover, although now depicting gorier iterations of the four activities originally seen on it. Although emerging from R Gaming in May 2020, the meme seems to have enjoyed peak popularity in early 2021, often used as a reaction image, albeit with the bottom half removed. An altered back cover was seemingly also added after the image's original creation. Woohoo Island in other games. Woohoo Island, or at least parts of it, has appeared in a variety of other Nintendo games since the release of Wii Sports Resort, notably Smash Bros for Wii U, Smash Bros Ultimate, Mario Kart 7, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and the Wii Fit sequels, Wii Fit Plus and Wii Fit U. Again, I'll mention Woohoo Island a few more times later, but for more on this topic I'd recommend watching Nintendo Heroes The History of Woohoo Island. Speedrunning The game has a surprisingly large speedrunning community, particularly in the golf game. This is fairly well known information, mostly due in part to Summoning Salt's video on the topic. Stamps Wii Sports Resort contains an achievement system known as Stamps, which is unique to the game. Upon completion of a difficult or unique feat detailed in a stamp, that stamp is unlocked, and the player is congratulated. Congratulations! There are a total of 100 stamps to collect in the game. To my knowledge, the stamp system is yet to re-emerge in any subsequent Nintendo games. Level 3 Other videos There are a lot of other generic Let's Plays of Wii Sports Resort on YouTube which aren't really worth individual points, most likely created due to the success of some of the aforementioned videos or to exploit nostalgia for the game. However, there is also a handful of interesting content about the game, like Nintendo Heroes and Summoning Souls Works, along with Psylocke Hawks, a video about Wii Sports Resort, and She Says' his Boundary Break of the game. Storm Island Storm Island is a relatively well-known mod for the game. It allows for custom music, text, textures, and island models, along with a variety of other features. Pro Class Rewards Pro Class is a ranking of a thousand experience points or more, and it is used to unlock a variety of in-game rewards. Pro Class is obtained around when the player beats the most skilled CPU me, or champion, in any given game. For example, in the stamp Last Me Standing, or There Can Only Be One, which is unlocked by beating the champion in the dual mode of swordplay, a reward is teased. This reward is the unlocking of samurai armor for the main character. Once the player obtains pro class in table tennis, holding one between the select a me screen and the black warning screen which follows will allow the use of a shoe as a paddle. A purple sword and swordplay jewel can also be unlocked using the same method. Swordplay Jewel Tiebreak if a draw is scored in every one of the three rounds of a duel, or each player gains one win as well as a draw, a bonus final showdown is unlocked, which sees the players enter a sudden death round atop the small blue centerpiece of the arena. This phenomenon is relatively well known among the player base, and can also end in a draw, resulting in the duel coming to a complete tie and earning a stamp. Secret Strike The Secret Strike is likely the most well known easter egg in Wii Sports Resort, and it can be achieved in the 100 pin bowling game mode. More specifically, if a player rolls the ball along one of the gutter guards, an off-screen switch is activated, causing an explosion which topples all 100 pins. It earns an in-game strike as if it were normal, and a stamp. Miguel's Plane Miguel is a me who debuts in Wii Sports Resort. He flies a plane in Island Flyover, which will lead to the information points the player needs to collect in the game, or eye points as they're more commonly known. His plane itself is also an eye point. While Miguel's plane can be attracted with a flare which is activated by pressing 1 on the Wii Remote, and it is the only other plane on the map which emits a smoke trail, his surface is still relatively obscure. Pilot Wings Resort Pilot Wings Resort is a semi-obscure Nintendo 3DS game, which takes place on Woohoo Island, 
While it's technically the third installment in the Pilot Wing series, following on from Pilot Wings for the SNES and Pilot Wing 64 for the N64, the resemblance to Wii Sports Resort is far more pronounced, essentially functioning as a continuation of the Air Sports game mode. Miguel's plane also appears in the game's free flight mode. Level 4 Unlocks by holding 2 Similar to the Pro Class rewards, although slightly less well known, a large variety of bonus features can be unlocked through holding down the 2 button between the Select Me screen and the Black Warning screen in many of the games. For example, this trick can be used to play a swordplay duel at sunset, play a basketball game at night, play an 11 point game in table tennis rather than a 6 point game, hide all of the balloons and eye points in Island Flyover, replay the introductory skydiving event in skydiving, hide the aiming circle in archery, and to hide the on-screen information in both golf and frisbee golf. Multicolored Bowling Ball In a similar vein, the colour of the bowling ball in any bowling mode can be changed by pressing a certain direction on the D-pad during the same loading time between screens. Up for blue, down for green, left for red, and right for gold. A bowling ball covered in stars is also available upon reaching pro class in bowling. Poking slash lunging. The speed slice mode of swordplay pits the player against a CPU in a battle to see who can slice a given object in the correct direction the fastest. While conventionally the player would swing the Wii mode to cut the items, the remote can also be simply thrust forward, which pokes the item and causes it to be pushed back towards the coach, Matt. This serves no purpose and will essentially make you lose the round, but it's not something most people know about. This can also be done to the opponent in Swordplay Duel for a stamp. Jazz Cover In both the settings menu and game option screens, a slower, jazzier cover of the Wii Sports Resort main theme can be heard. However, since the game options screens are frequently skipped over very quickly, and the settings menu is unused by most players, not many know of it. Other Islands there are a handful of other islands which make up the Wuhu Archipelago, aside from the namesake Wuhu Island and aforementioned Wedge Island. The least notable are two small islands named Fireworks Launch Zone A and Fireworks Launch Zone B, from which, unsurprisingly, fireworks are launched during the night mode of Island Flyover. There is also another uninhabited island, aptly christened Deserted Island, which Mies and Wales occasionally visit. The final island is Private Island. Upon the collection of 80 eye points, a small resort house appears on the island for the player. Give Up Percent Give Up Percent is the most well-known category extension of Wii Sports Resort Golf speedrunning. Rather than completing all of the holes as fast as possible, a runner must finish an 18-hole course with the worst possible score of 144 points. In order to do this, a player needs to miss shots so many times that the game will automatically cause them to give up on every single hole and incur a penalty. The run is a well-known meme category, and is often only played either for comedic purposes or optimising the main runs due to its tedious nature. 20 All Achieved in table tennis, 20 All is similar to the swordplay showdown draw, only more difficult and more obscure as a result. In order to achieve the stamp perfectly matched, or a worthy opponent in the PAL version, a score of 20 All must be created in, in single-player mode, causing the match to be declared a draw under house rules. However, this can be easily obtained by playing against a very weak CPU and alternating winning and losing, albeit monotonously. Either way, this is still a rare occurrence. RT Game's favourite stream RT Game is a gaming YouTuber and Twitch streamer who, at the time of writing, has amassed the most subscribers out of anyone discussed, at currently a little over 2.5 million. One of his most popular videos sees him play the various games available in Wii Sports Resort, as well as creating an unusual looking me character named I Want Die, who has since gone on to become a channel mascot. While many are familiar with the video itself due to its popularity, it is slightly less well known that RT considers Wii Sports Resort his favourite game which he has streamed. What was your favourite game you streamed? I like to give it to Wii Sports Resort because I think that was just the perfect stream. Uh, everything that could have gone right went right. Woohoo Island in Times Square 
On July 15, 2009, Nintendo announced it would be transforming Military Island and Times Square into a miniature Woohoo Island as a promotional event for Wii Sports Resort, which would release in America the same month. This event went ahead on July 23rd from 9am to 3pm, featuring 50 tons of sand to form an artificial beach, a small pool, kiosks to try out the various sports, free tropical drinks, and an appearance from Gossip Girls actor Chase Crawford. We have basically brought to life Wii Sports Resort here in the middle of Times Square. We've transformed Military Island into Woohoo Island, which is featured in Wii Sports Resort. We trucked in 50 tons of sand. Lots of Level 5. Morse Code Messages When piloting near Woohoo Island's large lighthouse named The Candle, an island flyover, beeping Morse code can be heard. The three unique messages have been translated, and they seem to take the style of an initial transmission and a subsequent reply. The messages read, Why does anyone use Morse code anymore? In reply, Good question. Morse code takes forever. In reply, It sure does. And, Does anyone out there know Morse code? In reply, Sorry, use your radio. Akira is better than Lucia. This is essentially a blanket statement, mostly based on the title of YouTuber Nykravita's video of his Let's Play of Wii Sports Resort, which was, This guy is better than Lucia, change my mind, in reference to the CPU me, Akira. Lucia is the champion of the table tennis game, and Akira is a me ranked slightly below her. While as aforementioned, Nykravita is the main reason for this statement's minor popularity, many have experienced notable difficulty in beating him. Changed Japanese Names Some of the sports had their names changed in the Japanese version. Swordplay, power cruising, air sports, and table tennis became sword fight, marine bike, sky leisure, and ping pong, respectively. Cut Games in an email interview for Wired, Wii Sports Resort producer Katsuya Iguchi revealed that fishing and a water slide activity were considered as events for the final game. The development team had also created a prototype for a Kendama game, essentially the Japanese variant of a cup and ball game. However, this was scrapped due to not fitting with the resort theme. Hidden Targets Every single stage in the archery game has at least one hidden target aside from the main one, which is often a piece of fruit or other foodstuff. Hitting the hidden target scores 10 points, as would a bullseye on the normal target, but they are notoriously difficult to find without consulting an outside source, let alone aim at and strike. Wii Sports plus Wii Sports Resort Wii Sports plus Wii Sports Resort is an obscure version of Wii Sports Resort seemingly released only for PAL in late 2009, featuring both games bundled onto a single disc. When the disc is booted up, a screen appears, asking the player to select which game they would like to play. Other than that, there are no differences between the original and bundled version of Wii Sports Resort, but a lot of people don't know about it. Basket Bike The Basket Bike is a custom bike which supposedly unlocks upon attaining pro status and cycling and holding down 1 between the Mii selection screen and black warning screen, similarly to the aforementioned unlockables. Despite being perpetuated by various online sources, notably IGN, the easter egg appears to be non-existent, and only NPCs may use the Basket Bike. This information was popularised in D-Pad Gamer's video on easter eggs in Wii Sports Resort, which also garnered a large amount of speculation and joking regarding the Basket Bike in the comment section. Level 6 World Edition Another obscure variant of Wii Sports Resort, this one is seemingly identical to the original game, save for, quote, no regional restrictions. The Wii is region locked, meaning a game specifically produced for a certain region may not necessarily work in another. Various NTSC types cover Asia, North America, and a bit of South America, whereas PAL covers its remainder, along with Europe, Australasia, and Africa. What exact purpose a World Edition of the game serves is therefore unclear. A small circle on the bottom right of the cover lists the territories Saudi Arabia, Malaysia, Singapore, and the United Arab Emirates, all of which are covered under NTSCU and should work with games produced in the USA. 
It also retails for $100, again for unknown reason, as such little information is available regarding this supposed addition. Unused Wakeboarding Routes the wakeboarding mode of Wii Sports Resort sees the player perform tricks off of the trail produced by a motorboat, which follows a set route. A file within the game named ws 2 wkb islandpmp stores these in-game routes. It also contains assets named Wakeboard 4, Wakeboard 5, and Wakeboard 8, which are three routes that don't appear in the final game but still remain within its code. Wakeboard 4 is currently being shown on screen. Stroke Study in February 2019, a research paper entitled Effect of the Wii Sports Resort on the Improvement in Attention, Processing Speed, and Working Memory in Moderate Stroke was published. It describes how, while video games have been used on stroke victims for physical rehabilitation, their effectiveness has been rarely studied. The study conducted sees 30 moderate stroke victims complete various tests of memory, attention, and processing speed, 15 of which made up an intervention group which played Wii Sports Resort three days a week across eight weeks and the other 15 in a control group which did not. Surprisingly, the intervention group achieved better results, and while more study is needed, the results seem encouraging. Wii Sports Aeroplane Wii Sports Aeroplane was a game demo which made its first and only appearance at E3 2006, alongside the announcement of Wii Sports, and early versions of the baseball, golf, and tennis games which would later appear in the final product. Wii Sports Aeroplane comprises of a plane, controlled by the Wii Mote, flying around a primitive Woohoo Island through rings for points, and was originally intended to appear in Wii Sports. However, it was later scrapped for unknown reasons, and then appeared in Wii Sports Resort as the island flyer of a game mode. The point scoring rings also resembled the rings which later appeared in Pilot Wings Resort. VR Remake this point is in reference to a Reddit post that appeared in December 2020 on r Oculus, titled Sneak Peek of our Wii Sports Resort VR Remake, coupled with a screenshot of a VR rendition of Woohoo Town's Wishing Fountain. The profile which created it, u slash polybox games, has remained dormant ever since. Searching for the name reveals the domain polybox.tk, which states the game will see Matt receive a spam email which transports him back to Woohoo Island, forcing him to complete its various activities to pay off the bill which the vacation incurs. The website states that a mere 5% of the game has been completed, with no release date. I personally contacted both the email address listed on the website and the u slash polybox games account, receiving a response from said account about a week afterwards. They write, completed? XD, no. In development and going strong? Heck yes. June 5th, 2009. Upon entering the input a, B, down, 1, 2, up, minus, plus, minus, plus, on the opening screen, this date will appear, along with the text Product US and the time 1225. While the user who described this trick on YouTube, Eclio, states that this is the launch date of the game, this is not the case. Wii Sports Resort released June 25th, 2009, the US version releasing in July. Owning a power copy of the game myself, I decided to attempt to recreate this trick on the differing version. The exact same text appeared, however EU replaced US in the top line. I'm still unsure of the state's significance, but it seems to remain consistent across all versions of the game. Level 7 Internal Documents Leak The 2020 Nintendo Data Leak was a series of leaks which appeared on 4chan from April to December of the same year, revealing a variety of source code, demos, assets, and various other data from a plethora of Nintendo games. One particularly large leak in this series occurred in the second week of September, which notably contained the Eternal Documents for Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. While all of these documents are relatively difficult to locate now, this leaked image does exist, showing a scrapped version of one of the menu screens. Unused Music There are two pieces of unused music which have been found within the game's code. When a player begins any given stage of archery, a short jingle will play. Each stage has a unique jingle with the exception of the first, in which the standard archery theme will play. However, a jingle endemic to the first stage does still exist in the game's files, entitled arc underscore stage underscore normal dot rye dot 32. The 
second piece named FLD underscore JSK underscore result underscore win dot rye dot 32 dot BRSTM seems to be associated with the Frisbee Dog game, but the exact purpose remains unclear. Debug menus. The game contains three unique debug menus, one for wakeboarding, one for air sports, and one for power cruising. In these menus, a variety of options regarding each respective game can be selected, most of which would not normally be available. While most are presumed to simply be in-game camera tests and redirect the player to a buggy mishmash of assets upon selection, some are slightly more notable. For instance, Free Mode, or Free Mordor in Japanese, is accessible in the air sports menu. Rather than seeing the player collect eye points under a time limit, the timer locks immediately, essentially allowing an infinitely long exploration of Woohoo Island. Also of interest is the fact that these menus are only accessible in NTSCJ, the Japanese version, and opening the menus in the US variant replaces the Japanese text with strings of nonsensical characters. Korean version. Korea has its own unique Wii region, K and as such a version of Wii Sports Resort endemic to the area was released. Perhaps the pinnacle of obscure Wii Sports Resort variants, the rabbit hole which it entails could be a video in itself, so I'll just summarise my findings. The game released about a year after all the other regions, in June 2010. The largest documentation of the game is a series of pages on the Korean equivalent of the official Nintendo website. However, this page was removed sometime during 2020, for unknown reasons. It is still accessible through the Wayback Machine, albeit with limitations depending on what has been archived. The website contains a 15 second commercial and a more comprehensive trailer a little under 3 minutes, essentially a longer version of the former. Okay. <laughs> While I don't speak Korean, it seems to be a mirror of the other trailers, which detail the 12 sports as well as an overview of the game itself, and concludes with an image of the box game. This may be the only image of the physical game known to exist. This multicolored logo which appears on the box also appears on the documented Korean version of Wii Sports, and means Hangul version, Hangul being the Korean alphabet. The website also contains some promotional material, such as a map of Woohoo Island indicating where each sport is geographically. However, due to the limitations of the Wayback Machine and my inability to understand Korean, a large chunk of related content may still be lost, or at least too secluded to remain within the scope of this video. The Wii Sports Wiki claims Mii's had their names changed in the Korean version, however this information does not include citation. The website koreanversion.com, which may hold more knowledge in English, redirects to an error message upon attempting access. To my knowledge, no physical copy of this game exists. However, there is a listing for a combined Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort Korean version on the Korean shopping website, 11 Street. While this area near the bottom is vaguely visible as the Hangul version symbol, the legitimacy of this product is certainly questionable, and even if it was real, it's a combined version rather than the Korean version of Wii Sports Resort alone. The 18 Hole Incident while this may at first seem like a gag, common to iceberg chance, this is a real incident which did in fact happen during the development of Wii Sports Resort. Iwata Asks is a series of interviews which were conducted by famed former Nintendo CEO Satoru Iwata, eventually proving to be one of the most insightful windows into the inner workings of both Nintendo and its games. Iwata spoke to his colleagues about the various games which the company had developed from 2006, up until his death from a tumour in his bile duct in 2015. It is somewhat well known trivia that the interview regarding Wii Sports Resort revealed that golf was almost not included in the game. Game designer Shigeru Miyamoto had mentioned in an interview at E3 2008 that the roundness of golf shots would now be determined by the player backswing, even though a golf game in Wii Sports Resort didn't exist at all, until Miyamoto returned to Japan and infamously stated, you know we're including golf now. What significantly less players are aware of is the 18-hole incident, a similar event which is more of an inside joke between the developers rather than anything with significant repercussions. 
The team tasked with developing the Wii Motion Plus technology were having a difficult time keeping moisture out of one of its sensors, trialing a variety of bizarre remedies, such as pressure cooking the device. While this meant that the originally intended Christmas release was delayed, the spare time also allowed for the game development team to institute new features. Katsuo Iguchi, the game's producer, announced to the team that Miyamoto had been speaking to Iwata, and had come to the agreement that, quote, golf is going to be 18 holes after all. Its status as an incident descends from the fact that this was a lie in order to prompt the team into building a larger course. However, with the spare time, this was successfully pulled off, and something that everyone, to quote developer Takayuki Shimanura, ended up feeling really positive about. Blue Club Motion Plus Set the Blue Club Nintendo Japan Wii Sports Resort Motion Plus set is an extremely obscure piece of merchandise relating to Wii Sports Resort. The pack contains a Sky Blue Nunchuck, Motion Plus, and Wii Mote, which are inscribed with Japanese text. This text apparently discusses the usage of the strap and how to hold the remote. These sets were created as part of a giveaway exclusive to Japan. Pre-order Wii Sports Resort between June 25th and August 1st, 2009 through the Club Nintendo Japan website and you were placed in the draw to win one of the sets. 5,000 were produced, and their nicheness and scarcity has turned them into an obscure collector's item. The fact that this was the only way to get a blue Wii remote at the time, and even now it's the only way to get a blue jacket and Motion Plus, also contributed. The most extensive documentation available comes from you slash Anna is my seagull, who purchased a set for $150 on eBay after a supposed six years of searching. Seemingly no other sets are now available for sale. And there you have it, the Wii Sports Resort Iceberg Explained. This is far and away my longest video to date, but I also had a lot of fun researching and scripting it, and I hope you had a nice time too. Thank you. <laughs>